we are weeks into the game of Sword of Con Valeria right now, and I think it's time for me to do another update on my account. I know I was supposed to do one last week, but here we are, health issues. But you know what? I'm still dedicated to this game, and I want to show you how dedicated I am. So let's go ahead and get right into the show. But first, and today, guys, I want to go ahead and do today's sponsor, Poverty. That's right, Poverty. By not subscribing, that's what the sponsorship is. So subscribe. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got here. So as you can see right here, I am currently at level 54. I am almost to 55 where we're about to get our rank 11 skills. Super excited for that. Um, that's when all the really cool skills that I just love looking at are going to be put into the um, are going to be put into my hands and I won't have to get them from other events or something. So definitely super excited about that. Uh, we're just going to jump right into the characters. So here are my current character list. And as you can see, I've already got a lot of my main ones put up there at level 54. Uh, starting with Cole. Cole is still dishing out a lot of damage. Um, I don't have him fully maxed out with level 50, uh, with level 60 gear just yet. My, my, my crux is getting those dust in order to level up. Those things are just so important. I've told you this multiple times. They're very important. But like I said, we're almost getting into the rank 11 skills. One more level to go. Super excited. This is what Cole is rocking. Uh, right now for my rolls, for my resonant stuff. They're not that good. Uh, M defense, M defense, P defense. They're not good at all. Um, I'm not too worried about that. These are just base stats that I'm just using. I just wanted that magical damage uh, resonance because I was getting waxed on the um, the weapon on the weapons uh, trials, which you know I'll show you guys that later. Um, but so far, you know Cole is still dishing out my best DPS. Lily Will is still coming out there strong as well. Um, we got her the we finally got her a whale hunter. Uh, we got it to two stars, so super excited about that. And then we got our Nono Will who's rocking the cornucopia. Um, when I get the next battle pass, I'm going to get another cornucopia so I can get this to two stars. And she's still doing just amazing, just doing amazing. Of course, we're still using Rawia because why wouldn't I? Still dishing out great damages. Still my strongest breaker. Momo will, I'm sorry, Momo. Momo is just fantastic. I finally got a weapon for her. I finally got the Diffusing Prism. I'm super excited um, to put that on her. And then I also got another one for a single target mage, which we'll talk about that later. But I'm just super excited. I finally got magic weapons. Um, we're going to notice that with the, the, the trinkets here, I switched the trinkets around based off of what, um, the map that I need to clear is. So, you know, you really don't have to have a standalone one right here. Um, you just switch them around based off of whatever the done, you know, whatever the map is. I do have some characters that do have staples that it never leaves off of them. Like her, I never remove this off of her, which is perfectly fine we still got Dontalian um, I use him off and on especially when I need to do magic damage um, he is probably my strongest magic damage dealer even though you know he's got the the P defense but the way that I have his skills kit he's my strongest magic damage dealer I love him he's great Matha, why wouldn't you like her? Um, <laughs> I rock Matha. I got her a nice little sword right here, the Guardian's Will, even though it doesn't have the shield. I just pretty much put it on her because of the 5%. Um, sometimes when I put the shield, what's it called? This one right here, I rock the Luxite Great Shield on her so that I can start it off so she can have that 20% defense. But when that Luxite thing disappears, you know, it is what it is. I'm not sold on this being on her yet it's just what i have right now i could go ahead and put the newborn back on to her um which is fine but right now i'm perfectly content with just having i, I will switch it up back and forth if i need Matha to do a little bit more extra damage but right now this is what she's been rocking ida 
I finally got a Irian combat bow. I actually got two. Um, but her, I got hers up to two star. So this is very really good. I can't wait to get this up to level 60. Ida is doing very good. I like her a lot. Um, I definitely love this barrel skill. The wine barrel casting is so good. I'm super excited for it. Angel is probably my most used healer. Um, I don't use Samantha that much. I mean, I do use Samantha, but like, it, it really depends on the situation. Like, it really does depend on the situation. They're both really good. I like Angel a lot because all of her skills basically does the um, the dispels. So all of her heals, her big heals, the dispels. So this one right here dispels one and then the group heal dispels one so anytime i know that there's going to be a lot of uh debuffs or um dot damage i will put angel on and she'll just do the damn thing i am putting i did put the starry sky heritage on her um just for the five percent i mean I, the three percent hp buff is also pretty decent on her um, I'll switch this up between, um, between this, or if I need to just add on to this right here, I'll do, I'll switch them up, but it mostly stays on her because she doesn't need that other one because she already has uh, the spell on her. So angel, um, agile, I, I've been using her quite a bit lately. Um, because when I make my Veldar teams, if you haven't know, if you didn't know, I'm doing, I'm trying to get all the Veldar characters. So I'm still missing Iggy, which disappoints me because I really do want Iggy, like really want Iggy. And then I'm still waiting for the, um, for the other uh, Veldar characters that are coming out. So when they come out, I'm going to be hard rolling on them, which is what I'm saving my resources for. Um, I like her. She does some of that extra range damage um, pretty decently. And she's been doing good. She's been doing good. Um, I've been just enjoying just the little extra damage that she does. And then we got Fake Hall. Fake Hall, he's rocking the other Aryan combat bow that I got. And he's also rocking the Hunter's Intuition. I, this always stays on him. I don't use this on anybody else. I think this is just belongs on him and only on him. And then we got our Samantha. Samantha, the same thing. Um, this stays on Samantha so that she, at least she can dispel when she does her single target heals. Um, and can at least dispel one debuff, which is great. Samantha does, does Samantha things, and she's really good. I appreciate her. I can't wait to get her up to rank 11. So then I can go ahead and get the Sacred Sanctuary skill, which I really, 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 really want. And yeah, I mean, I, I, I might somewhere down the line get the protected, but not right now. We're doing straight for sacred sacred there. It's like, why would why wouldn't you get that on her? You know, suppression is a, a, suppression is a god. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, suppression has he he is always good. If you don't have a suppression, you need to get your suppression leveled up. He is so good right now. And I'm currently rocking the uh, the the pendant halberd on him, four percent increase. And then before taking a single target attack, he gains ten percent bonus attack and defense. Um, I got it at two stars right now. I'm thinking about switching over to the silent guard, um, just because that gives more defense. I'm not sure. Um, I'm probably going to, especially because it makes his next attack deal 20% more damage. And I just got the three stars. So I'm thinking, why not? And he's really the only, like the only spear user that I use. So I'm going to level this up next, um, to level 50 once I get the materials and everything. So we'll see, but I really do enjoy him. Suppression. He's like, he's just so good. Like he's so good, especially with anything dealing with magic damage. Um, he's great. He's great. Nungle, uh, we finally got a uh, star raid crossbow. So I put that on her. Um, I, I want to get more. I want to get more. Um, and then we also got our second true lens. So I put that on her and she just does great. She just does great things. Um, I've, I was rocking this on her because I, I needed someone to do a little bit more AOE heals. So that's the reason why I put this trinket on her. Um, and of course, you know, next level, we get to get 
the great skill of quick reload, which is going to be fantastic. Uh, can't wait for this. Um, she's going to be a beast. Super excited for her. So can't wait. Uh, Vild uh, Vildoran Scout, we've been using him um, with a lot of the tower uh, because of his shrapnel bomb right here, the uh, Luxite shrapnel. So we've been using him in tower. He's been really good. I like using him. Um, he does surprisingly really good damage, especially with the uh, the dash right here. This right here has, does significantly amount of good damage when you move um, and then you hit the person. So yeah, I've been I've been dealing I've been doing good with him. I like him a lot. Um, he's he's he he does some pretty good damage. And then we leveled up Night Raven. Um, yesterday or the day before we got Night Raven leveled up. I realized I didn't have any single target. Um a strong single target damage dealer so we went ahead and, and leveled up night raven up and we got her we put the um the focus wand on her and she performed above and beyond i put the devil um tarot on her uh, i'm not liking these stats but i did get one that has 10 percent magic attack on it and then it, on the fourth one it got the the special effect so i was like why not and it just it just helped out like her single target was really good uh on the tree we went straight up solo uh, for solo kill i couldn't find a reason to go into the aoe um so we went straight to the solo kill and yeah she performed really good she performed really good i loved have, i love the hangman characters and i need and i need to get another hangman character up anyway especially with nungle and Dotalian up there so i chose her and she performed perfectly fine i like her i love her night rain is so good stormbreaker is my only other breaker that i have we got her brutal axe leveled up um the next thing i'm going to level up is probably the tuning hammer and then we're saving this for when coco comes out because i want to put this on coco um so we're going to level that up but yeah we're we're, we're going to level up the tuning hammer next for situations where we need uh the dispel buffs off of people um i don't really have that many axe users and mace users so like my both my breakers are my only ones and she just does suitably good she just does pretty decent damage like overall aoe damage i want i need to get more copies of her so i can get her five stars so she can really dish it out and i need to get her you know i don't know i feel like i still feel like she's, she's squishy even though she has that 623 defense and the 527 magic defense, i still feel like that she's squishy um but you know above all she's great and i put the um destruction tower on her this one's trash i'm going to put a new one on her but yeah this she performs very good whenever i need those breakers and then one against maps that have multiple different tanks the defenders papal guard his only goal his only usage that i use him for is for when i was running the dungeons for the weapons um he was my deep he was my magic tank that would you know that was taking that single target damage i got it from um purple's video and i used him for it but i kind of siphoned him out and rotated him out from momo momo just performed way better for that ranger um for that ranger boss he was getting even like with all the gear that i put on him and everything i stacked him up and all the different shields and stuff he just was he, he was just couldn't handle it so i put on momo and momo just did way better um but he's still good like i i don't dislike him um he still has his purposes everyone you know every once in a while i will use him um if i don't feel like using any legendary characters uh but other than that though he's really good butterfly is one of my favorite characters i just love her um I got her up to that 53 as well. Um, I rotate her with her, her out with the you know whatever needs to be used on her. Um, I really am only using her because of that dance of encouragement skill, which is really good, which uh, gives everybody 15% more damage at a very large scale, like five tiles out, and grants 30% life steal, lasting for three turns. Like this is she's really good for those type of fights. It gives everybody sustain, and since she does some pretty good damage as well, 
that's another good reason why because she's able to just sit there <coughs> she's able to sit there and give you know a lot of my dps just that really good damage output and they can self-sustain themselves while also providing extra damage she's a really good utility um character a really good strong unit having her with lily wills um leader aura giving her that extra uh 10 attack and 20 percent defense with that extra movement is just really nice um movement is so is, I, i've noticed that movement is just really really good and um yeah so i switch her out i still want to give her a dedicated piece of gear i just don't know which one yet so we're, i'll have to look through those but i like her i rotate her out when i don't feel when i when i don't need to use samantha or angel i just need just someone who's just going to sit there and be able to do good damage and heal and i know that all of my team is just going to rotate with each other and they're not going to be too spread out so any content that i know that's going to have that butterflies in there i just need more copies of her like i only have one copy candlelight also oh my god energy battery i energy battery this is this is the best way i can say it and getting all getting her skills like and just depending on what the situation is um and this right here wanted notice is so good because it gives that speed to debuff you know knocking off 100 of the speed which makes them slow but also it heals all your allies within four tiles around the enemy giving them 65 percent magic attack um i'm sorry it heals them for 65 percent magic attack is what i meant to say and gains they all gain movement once for one turn and also they all have the hang you no know, that gives the, the the person the hangman's mark so candlelight is just really good and then also using this one right here for that single talk that four energy um rebuff uh four energy steroid that she has on there that gives that eight attack to m defense to p defense to this has been such a savior especially on content where i had to rock her and suppression together and it just kept suppression alive in um in a lot of fights even though suppression didn't need to but there was like some situations where I, I had to make a choice to either get put suppression to um to the order so that he can go next but then during that round i couldn't do it because i already used it for someone else so that it could keep someone alive this right here just kept it so that in that way suppression can um go ahead and have his map m defense um buff candlelight i just really like her i really do like her um she's she's a really good she's a powerful unit her heels are okay like her, her her single target you know her heels are okay you know she they're okay um the soothing light is not it's a single target and if you're looking for somebody who can just do straight up single target heals and you know that's fine um the inner light skill is just really good for that aoe and keeping energy up and you just have to know that rotations um but candlelight has performed very well she's performed very well um i think the only thing that i would probably consider getting else on her um maybe the potential burst um i'm considering getting potential burst for her next just because it grants that attack to p defense to and defense to and dispels all attribute debuffs and, give, and gives them immunity of those buffs for two rounds so i'm considering getting that on her i'm not sure um, I also like the fact that the um, P defense command with the gives her that aura for 30% um, That's really good, especially with the content that I was using her on which is just gate It is allowed the survivability for those physical attack damages um, She she performed she overperformed and I really enjoy her But yeah, I'm, 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 I'm definitely considering getting the potential burst on her as like the next and like probably the final skill that I need to get on her and outlaw assassin again i was using it for um tower purple's video taught me a lot and the luxite shrapnel right here is just overperforms. so outlaw assassin really only reason why i have him up there is just before the, he really helps out with the tower uh knighted guard i haven't i haven't used him recently i haven't used him in about a week or so um, but I was using him for con uh, some of the weapons contents, and he was doing pretty good. I like him. Um, he's I don't use him as much. I 
I do like the fact that he has the de uh, the vulnerable two debuff. So I was using him for that for that vulnerable two debuff. Um, the spiky shield helped out a little bit. I mean, actually, there was content in the tower where the piercing damage um, was like super strong. So I used him for that content. Um, yeah, because rocking him with the the two the the two seekers that had the lux sight shrapnels, and I had him there. So he was soaking up damage, but then hitting them with that 50% of their P defense. But since it was like all piercing damage was like 200% or something like that, something crazy like that. He was like getting hit and then like one shotting folks. It was really nice. Um, but above by that, he's, the, he's really the only union character that I use. And I would use the great shield on him when I needed some um, tanking. And then I would rock the sword on him. This one right here this right here was really good because it just it made him tanky and so when i needed that single target tank with like the shields and all that this is the guy that i go to and yeah he has his purposes and then i got divine grace um i just leveled him up literally only so that i can do um uh uh re you know like the um so i can skip so i can skip my dailies and stuff I literally leveled him up just to skip dailies. I will probably use him um, because of the Papple, you know, being that he's part of the um, Papple. And I do, I'm, I'm, I'm really am leaning into liking Papple State's characters. You know, like I said, Suppression is one of my favorite. Angel is one of my favorites. Um, you know, we got Cole right here. And then we got Samantha. So I'm leaning towards to, um, using more Papple State characters and doing the whole you know you got to put three buffs you can catch my papal state stratagem video when it comes out um i loved him up literally just for skipping lash i've only been using her just for skipping um lash is not bad but i just have no use for her um i was using her as a mage for a while um but i decided just to put her on a back burner <clears throat> and then Tempest, I haven't touched Tempest in weeks. Um, he's just there for helping me do skips. Blade is there for helping me do skips, but I leveled him up also because I plan on using him in the future. And I was testing, uh, I was t testing KA guard. Um, I found maybe like one decent use for him when I leveled him up, but I just haven't used him in a while. Same, just skips. Uh, recruited assassin i used him for the tower um the, he, he he survives <laughs> the, the guy just lives and he helps me pull people into pits and it makes the tower very very fun so uh, he's literally used just for the tower um i use her for skips but i'm going to be leveling her up because i'm going to be using teams with the papal um papal states uh, same with this guy. I'm gonna be using him for Papal Stapes right now. He's just using for level skips, and that's it. So that's it for the list of my characters. Um, with that being said, just taking a look at my gear right now. I'm currently trying to get all of my gear pieces on my trinkets up to level 50. So I still have a couple of more pieces to go. So we got like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we got five more pieces to go to get to level 50. So that's kind of my goal right there, is get all those up to level 50. And then I pretty much got all of my weapons for the most part, except for this one. Like all my main weapons are level 50. Some of them are level 60 because I was doing the, um, the, what's it called? This right here, the Voyage Memento. Um, so we was doing the Voyage Memento. But yeah, so pretty much the majority of all of my gear is 50 and 60. And then I got the copies and stuff right there. So I'm fusing copies into into them. And that's kind of what I've been doing. So anytime I get a copy of something, I'm trying to get more pieces that are five stars. So then that way, once I have them five stars, then um, I can level up a new piece or I can just throw it into the... If I, if I, if I, if I, if I know it's a, a bow, like prime example, like this one right here. The meteor line i use the meteor line on my on my archers that don't have dedicated bows and since it's already five i get a lot of meter uh meteor lines that's the bow i get the most often so that was easily a five star one right there and any new ones that i get i just feed them into um i just just i just break them down i just break them down um i'm about to 
get my first um, random from the shop and then for the yeah so and then that's what i'm just that's what i'm just trying to do so when it comes to trinkets i'm trying to have at least two pieces of the same thing so like you know two true lenses i got two cooling powders um i got two of the maverick cloaks i got three of these and when i got three of these is kind of when i decided that i'm going to go ahead and get two of them so that's the reason why this has three but i'm trying to get two of every trinket so then that way when i get the new ones i can feed them into the pieces so i can get five star pieces on them and that's kind of the strategy was going with my weapons as well um i'm now i'm feeding extra copies of weapons into each other because you know i kind of have my main defined teams so i just need to get their weapons up and if it's like the this one right here like if i get another tuning hammer i'm going i'm going to feed it into this tuning hammer to level it up and then same with everything else so weapons is kind of like singular as long as i have that one weapon that one copy of that weapon i'm focusing on that weapon in order to put the copies into them um, but when it comes to trinkets, I need at least two copies of the trinkets before I start feeding them into it. Um, Terra Whispers is like one of the, it's like the real end game here. Um, I thought the engravings would be the real end game, but honestly, engravings are, you know, yeah, they're all random, but it's not as bad as Tarot's. Tarot's is kind of crazy. Um, the goal is just getting really good stats on these and it's, it's going to be random. It's going to be hard. Um, like this one right here with the dream of the magician, which increases damage by 8% when casting skills for each additional enemy hit, the damage is increased by 4%. So this one right here, I literally have this on, um, was that, uh, builder, but, but only because it has the P attack, the P attack, and then it has this right here. Um, and when I get another physical person that has, um, AOE skills, like I, I would use this on storm, like Stormbreaker. I would switch this up and use this on Stormbreaker when I need to. Um, but above all, like, you know, just, just getting these and just getting the right ones with the right stats. Uh, this one right here is the one that I have on Momo because it got M attack, M attack, M defense and P defense, but I still hate it. So once I get a better one from Momo. Um, I'm going to use that, but just because, you know, th those AOE hits and just generating more, uh, damage on them. That's the reason why, but tarot's is just, it's just a pain in the ass. I'm glad we get a lot of tarot's, but I also hate that we get a lot of tarot's because I have to siphon through them and it uses up a lot of resources. And that's really what the game is about is resources. Um, also I just, I also forgot to mention too, that currently the three characters that i'm farming the um the shards is lily will no no will and momo i just got uh today i just got uh no no will to three stars so those are the three that i'm farming in once i hit 55 and i get the last stage open the fourth i'm going to be um I think you could still only use three people. I think only three people is still is, is still only advised because then you get three shards for everybody. So once I get these three up to five stars, then it'll just come down to the next ones, which I'm probably going to be like whenever when, whenever Coco comes out, it'll probably be her because I think by the time I get these guys leveled up, Coco will probably already be out. You know, whenever they decide to release that. Um. And then I'll probably have like Cole and I don't know who else. I haven't decided. The really depends on who I'm who I'm feeling, who I'm liking right then and there during that time. Um, you know, maybe Iggy because I have since Iggy's like the last person. I, I, I don't care what no one says. I want Iggy. Um, so yeah. So that's it for my characters. Dungeon wise in the crossing worlds, we currently are at weapon trials. We got every weapon trial to 60 uh we haven't attempted 65 yet but we're almost there we're almost there boys um we have to get all 60s for the tarot so we haven't done those yet and then everything else is what you what you expect um the tower i am currently at 75 i'll probably do that tonight and then we're uh hopefully in the next two days we'll go ahead and get up to eight dash five i've i've been into eight multiple times but for some reason every time i get up into eight they always give me these crazy 
crazy stipulations kind of irritates my soul but here we are um yeah we're doing the events the scorched earth events uh we're doing all the other events and yeah i have not purchased any um any gems so i haven't gotten any gems any shops or anything like that so um yeah, I haven't gotten anything. No gems. I'm, talking, I'm, talking, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. No, I haven't gotten any gems or anything like that. Um, so, we got through doing that. We're going through the exchanges. Um, we're saving up so that we can get this right here, this legendary character selector. That's the end game. So, that's... But this is low. But, you know, once the next character comes out, and I, and I hard pull for that... Um, this will skyrocket back up. We just haven't pulled on anything. Um, and then we got all this stuff right here from the Insignia. So we already knocked out all these from the tower. So I'm not too mad. Next thing we're going to be getting is the Radiant Powder, um, the common EXP. But Radiant Powder is definitely next. Star Particles so that we can get our bonds up. Um, I got Momo, Lily, and Nono. Uh, all of them to five so I'm working on coal right now coal's at four so coal's almost done and then with the memorials uh, we, we got all these right here in the memorials for the events yep so then in the reputation I just bought all this stuff from out of reputation just uh, just now before I made the video and we're almost yeah and we're just waiting we're just waiting so yeah that's it guys that's my account uh hopefully you guys um are also playing hopefully you guys are catching up hopefully you guys are enjoying yourselves my guild has been doing great um we've been knocking it out we did that guild event and i got everything and i know other people have got everything as well so yeah it's gonna be good it's gonna be good it's a great day for Sword of Con Valeria, and I hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one with the next video. Like I said, I'm, I should have the Papal Stratagem out soon. Um, I know I promised that. Um, it's like I said, health. But yeah, we'll. I'll definitely get you guys in the next one. You take care of yourselves. Peace.